Hi loves, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here using majority of Huda Beauty products along with the Huda Beauty haul as well. I thought it would be kind of fun just talking to you guys a little bit about the makeup that I purchased. So being that I purchased a lot of makeup, obviously I'm not gonna be able to use every single thing in today's video. However, I just wanted to show you guys all the things that I purchased. That way you guys can pretty much determine what look you want me to do next with what products. So if you guys would like to see how I created this look and also everything that I got from Huda Beauty, then just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so before we get started, I just want to show you all the makeup that I have. It is literally so much, you guys, like, so freaking much. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can y'all see it? But yeah, Ooh, this is so much, and that's literally the reason why I do not want to ramble too much because if I really talk about all these products like how I want to, we will literally be here all day. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. So I feel like majority of the stuff that I had got from Huda Beauty is eyeshadow palettes, so that's what we're gonna talk about first. So you guys, I literally ordered a total of nine eyeshadow palettes. So yeah, these are eyeshadow palettes that I've been eyeing for a while. I don't know if this sale is going to be going on by the time I upload this video, but the reason why I was able to get all of this stuff is because Huda Beauty is running a sale on her website right now. So I honestly would just wanted to take advantage of the opportunity and just get some things that I've been eyeing for a while but kind of been putting on the back burner so yeah the first two products I want to talk about are these two eyeshadow palettes these are the 18 pan eyeshadow palettes from Huda Beauty um typically these are like the most favorite ones from Huda Beauty's website a lot of people do say that the 18 pan palettes are better quality than the nine pan eyeshadow palettes I do have more of the nine pan eyeshadow palettes than the 18 pan ones but I am growing my collection. I already have the Mercury Retrograde, the Rose Quartz, and the Naughty Palette. So yeah, now I can add these two to my collection. So the first one that I wanna to talk to you guys about is the Pretty Grunge Palette. This palette did catch my attention when it first came out, but I was just like, mm, this is not something that I really wanna get like right away. I'm pretty sure that I can wait for it, so I did. And then when you open it, this is what it looks like. I'm not trying to like blind y'all. Hold on, let me try something right quick, hold on. I'm gonna put the packaging right here. That way y'all don't see the mirror or get blinded or anything. So yeah, that's what this palette looks like. Really beautiful, very sexy and sultry. This eyeshadow palette honestly just screams date night looks to me. You can honestly create a little bit of some daytime looks as well, which I really do like about this palette. They have nice dark sultry colors, but you do have your pops of color like the bright muted pink and this bright like peachy nude kind of color and some neutral tones as well that I really like in this palette so yeah typically her 18 pan palettes are made in Italy you guys so it's honestly not surprising that the 18 pan palettes are a little bit better quality than the 9 pan ones the 9 pan ones are made in China just to let you guys know but yeah moving along so we just talked about the pretty grunge now we can move on to the empowered palette now this is a palette that I honestly wanted when it came out but i'm just like oh it's a bit out of my price range right now but your girl is making a little bit more coins so i decided why not go ahead and pick it up plus like i said all of this stuff was on sale and hopefully still is on sale by the time i get this video up so that is what the palette looks like really pretty and when you open it these are the shades i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing that i did with the other palette and just put the packaging over the mirror so that way you guys can really see but yeah, that is what this palette looks like. Now, I definitely love this palette, you guys, because these are more of my tones, first of all. Like, I love how there's a deep chocolate brown. You have your cream shade right here, and this is a deeper shade, and also this one as well, which you can honestly use these two to deepen up any other shade that you want in the palette to be deeper. It has a bunch of warm tones. I love these peachy shades right here. I will honestly use this on my lid. I love this warm tone shade right here, and then the shimmers are just beautiful, you guys. These are the ones that stand out to me the most this one is beautiful too but this one definitely stands out the most i just really love this palette so much and i cannot wait to create looks with it so that was it for the 18 pan palette so now we can move on to the nine pan one so i'm going to get like the two like most boring ones out the way first um i did went ahead and pick up another huda beauty nude light palette i already had this palette in my collection i still actually have it but it is shattered you guys like all the mattes are still intact but the shimmers all of these have broke and they're all like mixed in together and i'm just like if i ever want to use this again on camera 
it's not going to be much of an accurate look because all of the shades are just mixed in together. So I was definitely taking that into consideration. I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to get a whole new palette. So I did. And this is what it looks like. Hopefully you guys can see. Yeah, really, really pretty, you guys. Perfect for a daytime look. And the shimmers are gorgeous in this palette. So now moving on to the second non tan palette I got. This is the Warm Matte Obsessions palette. I didn't really want to get the cool because cool tone eyeshadow palette is not really my thing. So I definitely wanted to get the warm one. This one stood out to me the most. I have honestly been on the hunt, you guys, to find neutral eyeshadow palettes that actually show up in my crease. I noticed that a lot of neutral tone palettes always come out with a palette that just has like a deep brown and then the rest are like these shades right here for your crease. And I'm just like, that doesn't really show up in my skin tone. It's barely a transition shade for me. So I'm looking for palettes that actually has deeper crease shades like chocolate browns and warm um, orangey shades like this that's actually going to show up in your crease. So yeah, I honestly wanted to get that palette just for that reason. And of course, I wanted to try the cream to powder formula because there is a couple of shades in this palette that's a cream to powder formula, kind of like um what's that brand called Colourpop <laughs> that's so bad you guys I used to love Colourpop so much but yeah um I really wanted to try out that formula and see how it works so the next four palettes that I'm going to be showing you guys are from the Wild Obsessions collection so yeah these are the four that I have picked up so the first one that I want to show you guys is the Wild Tiger one this is what it looks like and I'm going to be honest, this is the one that caught my attention the least, but I did want to get the full collection. I didn't want to just get one or two palettes out of it. I wanted the entire collection. So I decided to pick this one up. And you guys, like I said, I've been wanting to have more palettes that have really nice crease shades that's going to show up on my skin tone. So I really like how they incorporated this brown. I love the pops of color like this pink in the middle and this green kind of gold tone color. I really, really like that a lot. I really think that this palette is beautiful. So I cannot wait to try this one. Hopefully you guys can see. The next one that I picked up is the Jaguar palette. This is what that one looks like. That's what it looks like outside of the clear packaging. And when you open it, this is what it looks like. Hopefully you guys can see it. I really, really like this palette a lot, you guys. Like, it kind of reminds me of the Pretty Grunge palette, but it's definitely not similar at all, in my opinion. Well, I wouldn't say at all, but it's definitely differences in the palette. More differences than similarities, in my opinion. But yeah, you guys, I love these tones so, so much. Like, I really feel like this palette will help me get out of my comfort zone and start doing more smoky eye looks. I like how they incorporated some grungy shimmer shades, but also a couple of shades that's going to make your eye pop and not look so like dead. You know what I mean? Like it's just a whole bunch of dark shades. So yeah, that is that one. And it also has a nice chocolate brown, which I really appreciate them putting in this palette. So yeah, that's what that one looks like. It's so pretty. So last out of the collection is the Python palette. This is what that one looks like while it's in its clear packaging. And I'm just going to take it out. And this is what it looks like. Really nice. I love the green on this palette it's really really nice and when you open it i have to be who i have to be really careful because mine is kind of cracked in the corner right here but this is what this palette looks like i honestly want to do a look with this palette next you guys because we are literally in the spring season right now so yeah i really feel like this palette would be perfect to just bring out and incorporate like some color into your makeup look i honestly appreciate so much you guys how she incorporated some neutral tones in this palette that way if you're kind of new with color you can honestly just step into it really slowly instead of just going like full blown like how you see my eyes are right now um I, yeah so i just love how they were able to incorporate some neutral tones as well and then you have your pops of color like this neon green right here or this um this blue shade right here as well that's really really pretty so yeah i honestly feel like this is the next palette that i'm going to be recording with i can't remember if i said that that was the last palette out of the collection because it's definitely not yeah i can't really remember if i said that or not but this is actually the last one so this is the chameleon one and i love the packaging so much it is so beautiful i love the color scheme so yeah i'm just going to take it out of the clear packaging and this is what it looks like and when you open it look at that hopefully you guys can see like i really wish y'all could see this shade in person 
it is gorgeous like it just screams out at me so much like I'm literally going to be using the shade once I actually use this palette like by itself because I did actually use this palette in today's eyeshadow look but I just used a couple of the shades just these two shimmers right here as a base honestly I, I didn't even use it to like it's full opaqueness because I just wanted it to be under these shades that I used in today's video in a whole nother palette that I'm going to show you guys after this one so yeah it's really really beautiful you guys like I said a beautiful chocolate brown so you know I had to get the palette and also some really nice purpley tones as well and I love the pops of color like this gold right here that screams out to me this one of course and this one as well and I also like that this one is a marble shade as well really really pretty I love Huda Beauty's marble shades so much they're gorgeous so last but not least you guys this is the last palette that I purchased from Huda Beauty and this is also the eyeshadow palette that I use in today's video this is the love fest palette it is literally gorgeous I love it so much and this is what the packaging looks like love the color scheme of this palette so much as well so when you open it this is what it looks like very gorgeous honestly and i'm gonna go ahead and just put this one next to the chameleon palette and you can honestly kind of tell why i wanted to use both of these palettes in today's look because i probably won't record me doing a look with just this palette i might who knows if you guys definitely want to see that then i can do that for you guys but yeah i decided to just use these two because they are very similar so yeah they're actually a few shades that i could definitely say are kind of resembling each other a bit but it is different as well well yeah you guys i absolutely love this palette i can go ahead and tell y'all that right now the shimmers are very pigmented the mattes blend out seamlessly together like honestly you could just tell by looking at my eyes that this palette is like legit so yeah Okay guys, so we're pretty much gonna move on to the rest of the makeup that I have purchased. So the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the Micro Shade Brow Pencil. This is in the color Rich Brown, and this is what the packaging looks like. I really do like it a lot. I like how it's not like a circular shape. It's kind of, I don't even, it's like a, a triangle shape. I don't know if you guys can like tell, but yeah, I really like that. And I love how it comes with a spoolie on one end and then it comes with obviously the pencil on the other side so yeah really nice so next i decided to pick up her blur jam this is from the glowish line and this is a silicone free smoothing primer and it's supposed to instantly mattify your skin smooth texture and give you a soft blurring effect so this is what it looks like right here and honestly you guys when i seen what the color was i'm just like i wish it was scented but a lot of people complain about Huda Beauty's products and it being scented and everything like that, which I will get into later. <laughs> but yeah, so when you open it, this is what it looks like. And I say I wish it was scented because it has this beautiful, like, light red color. So I wish it was like a strawberry or like watermelon scent, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so I decided to pick that up. And another thing that I got from the Glow Wish line is the Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. This is in the shade 05 Rich. And I was really skeptical about getting this shade. I was not sure what shade I should have got. But I'm glad I went with this one. And this is what it looks like. Really, really pretty. I love the shade so much. I was honestly nervous how this was going to look on my skin because it is marbled which I love so much, but I'm just like, hmm, I don't know how that's gonna work on like face products. I know it's beautiful for the eyeshadow, but I don't know about bronzer, but yeah, it actually worked out pretty well. So I am kind of going out of order. I'm just going pretty much based off of what I grab out of the box next. So yeah, the next thing that I want to show you guys is this automatic lip pencil. This is the Lip Contour 2.0, and this is in the shade Rich Brown as well. Very creamy formula. It's really, really nice, and it is a retractable liner. It does have that packaging of it being like sharpenable, but it's not. It's actually retractable, and this is what that looks like really pretty so the next thing that i got is the faux filler lip gloss you guys i only got one shade and i decided to go with coco which is really really pretty i like this shade a lot i can go ahead and swatch it for you and i use a little bit of it in today's video but yeah it's really really pretty and it actually does make your lips look really juicy 
I really, really like this shade a lot, you guys, and I like this lip gloss. So next, you guys, this is something that I am very excited to talk about. I'm not going to talk y'all head off too much because this is just a haul. I just want to show you guys the makeup. But these concealers, y'all, these are the Faux Filter Luminous Matte Concealers, obviously by Huda Beauty. Y'all, I am in love with these concealers. Like, they are so bomb. Oh my gosh, they are so bomb. I'm going to talk more about them throughout the tutorial so you guys can actually see how they apply and everything like that, how they wear, how much coverage it gives and everything like that. But y'all, these are definitely, definitely going in my backup drawer, meaning I'm going to order more and they're definitely going to be my backups because I never want to run out of these products. So the first shade that I had got is Brittle. And the second shade that I had got is in the shade Yogurt Drops. So if you guys aren't familiar with what I like to do when it comes to my concealers, I like to get two concealers every single time I purchase them. That way I can get one that's closer to my skin tone and one that I use for brightening. So yeah, this is what Brittle looks like and you guys will see that being used in the video along with Yogurt Drops. Very beautiful. I love the packaging so much. I love the frosted bottles and I also really like the Dofa applicators as well. It's short, but it's thick, and a lot of product comes out on the doe foot. Doesn't have a smell or anything, just like kind of like a makeup y smell, but that's about it. I love these concealers so much. So I'm just throw this product out there, you guys. Um, I did get this little mini liquid lipstick. This was free. Um, I guess when you do purchase a certain amount of product, you do get a free gift. You automatically get a sample, I believe, when you spend a certain amount but i feel like if you spend a little bit higher then that's when they give you a little gift so yeah this was mine i decided to pick out the liquid matte lipstick in the shade miss america it's really beautiful you guys i love the smell of the liquid lipsticks and definitely makes me want to purchase some more but it's beautiful so that's that so next we can move on to the powders and this is the last thing that we're going to be talking about in today's video so i ended up picking up three of the loose powders and two of the mini powders and also two of the pressed powders and yeah that is pretty much it so yeah we can go ahead and talk about these little cute ones oh my gosh you guys i had ended up getting the baby bake how do you do this okay yeah i had ended up getting the baby bake and cherry blossom cake and peach pie um i wanted to get these just because i do use cherry blossom cake pretty often this is what the full size looks like. Let me see. This is the full version of the Cherry Blossom Cake Powder. This is the loose setting powder. And then I ended up getting the mini version, like I said. And these are so cute, you guys. First of all, I just love how they are so freaking small. And I love the packaging of it. You pretty much just flip this up, twist it, and then you get a powder puff. I honestly like this so much, you guys, because... When you're just on the go and you need to touch up your makeup throughout the day, you can just pop this out of your purse, twist it, and just apply all over your face. And then your makeup looks good as new. So, yeah, that's one of the main reasons why I wanted this one. And I do go through my Cherry Blossom Cake Powder pretty quickly. So, it doesn't really look like it right now. But, yeah, I definitely do not want to run out. So, once this starts getting low, I guess I can just put some in that or just keep it in this packaging. But yeah, this is really cute, you guys. I like this a lot. And also, I got peach pie, which is literally the same thing. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, literally the same thing. But for some odd reason, more powder is on this one. I don't know if y'all can tell what a lot of powder is on this one, but it doesn't matter. Either way, I just, I love these powders so freaking much. And they're just perfect for on the go. So next, I did pick up, hold on. So now we can talk about the loose setting powders and the full size that I picked up. I did pick up three of them. I got sugar cookie, cupcake, and banana bread. So I got sugar cookie because I do want a translucent powder and the line, but I really thought that it was interesting when I seen on the website that this powder was recommended for fair to light skin tones, which is funny because it is considered a translucent powder. So when I see the word translucent, I'm thinking that it's like universal for all different skin tones. So I honestly wanted to get this powder just to complete my collection. Honestly, I want almost every powder from Huda Beauty. But I did want to test this one out and see if it does leave a white cast on my dark skin. So yeah, 
I'm really, really excited to see how this powder works as far as the color and everything like that. If it's literally the same formula as everything else, and I know it's going to be good formula wise, but I want to see how the color works. So the next shade that I got is Banana Bread. And you guys, I was really excited to pick up this powder because I already have the shade Blondie. So I definitely wanted to compare the two powders. I do like a powder that has a slight yellow undertone for when I do like my warm eyeshadow looks so or just want more of a natural finish. But I do feel like Blondie is just slightly, slightly darker than what I want. So I decided to go ahead and pick up Banana Bread and see which one I like more. So this is what that looks like. I don't even know if you guys can be able to tell the color. But let's just go ahead and compare it to Blondie right quick. So both of these look really, really gorgeous. But yeah, this is Blondie and then this is Banana Bread. I'm going to tilt them like this because I feel like you could probably see it a little bit more. But yeah, this is Banana Bread. This is Blondie. This definitely has more of a yellow undertone while this is a more muted yellow undertone. Still warm, still nice, but it's not as yellow as this one. So yeah, we're definitely going to see which one I do like better on my skin tone. So if you guys would like to see a video on that, then just let me know. Since we're already talking about Banana Bread, I might as well show you guys that I got the pressed powder to match it. This is what that one looks like. Really, really beautiful. They look so brand new. All my other ones has just been beat up. <laughs> but yeah, so that is that shade. It's so funny, you guys, because this product has honestly became such a staple in my every single day makeup routine when i say every single day i'm not i don't wear makeup every single day but every single time that i do wear makeup i have to incorporate this product in my foundation routine like it will not feel the same if i don't now last but not least you guys this is a powder that i have seriously been so patient on getting like y'all just have no idea when i say i've been stalking huda beauty's website for so long seeing that if she was going to restock this powder which she did not but um, yeah, I honestly just wanted to get this powder to complete my collection. And also, I was really into the shade as well. But unfortunately, Huda Beauty did not restock this powder at all on her website. But luckily, I was able to find it on Sephora. So this is the shade Cupcake. And honestly, I really do think that she's not going to bring this product back on her website because it's so similar to Peach Pie. Um, you guys probably won't even be able to tell on camera. I can still like compare it a little bit. But it's honestly so comparable to Peach Pie. So they're probably like they did so much marketing and everything with Peach Pie versus Cherry Blossom. So it was probably smarter to just keep Peach Pie instead of Cupcake. But yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. When you put them side by side, they look so similar. Peach Pie is just slightly darker like slightly you guys you can barely even tell a difference when i put them this close yeah you can still tell peach pie right here is slightly darker but it's still the same kind of undertone so i don't really blame her but still i really do like the cupcake shade i actually have it on right now and i absolutely love it so once april 9th comes here i am definitely ordering a couple of more and that's just what it is you guys um i'm waiting till the 9th because that's when the vib sale starts on sephora so yeah i'm definitely gonna be picking up a couple more shades of this because i love it so much and i really do think that they're gonna discontinue the product and of course since i got the cupcake shade i had to get the pressed powder to match and that is what this powder looks like on the outside and then this is what it looks like you guys it is so beautiful it has such a light baby pink undertone to it i love it so 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 much but yeah i actually forgot to put it on in today's video i honestly did it after i had finished everything on camera because the cupcake powder gave me such a beautiful nice brightening effect i feel like i didn't even need to go in with this but i still do because like i said it's a part of my everyday routine so yeah you guys that is pretty much the end of today's haul i really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and you enjoyed the video in general if any of these products do stand out to you and you want to see them in a future video then please let me know in the comments down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please don't forget to comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one Hey guys, so now I'm going to start off with my Love Fest palette and I'm going to be taking the deeper shade in the palette and putting that all in my crease in the outer corner and inner corner as well. I want it pretty much blown out and smoky. So yeah, I'm just placing that color in all of those areas.
to blend and we have more of a gradient effect and it's nice and diffused. So now we're going in with the last shade and we're just using it as the transition. I really, really like how this look came out, you guys. I definitely wanted to just keep it with those two shades at first, but I decided that I wanted to pull more orange out of the look. So yeah, I just went in with this shade for my transition. I just went in with that first brush that I used to apply the first shade and I just went ahead and diffused out the eyeshadow just made sure that it was to the opaqueness that I wanted to be because a lot of times when you blend out your eyeshadows you get to lose um, a little bit of that color payoff so yeah I'm just making sure that everything is nice and blended and intact I could have did a better job with blending not gonna lie but y'all I was getting anxious like I just wanted to hurry up and finish this look <laughs> Um, I do get impatient sometimes, so yeah. Um, so I decided to just cut my crease. Um, I showed you guys of me taking off the excess eyeshadow, but um, I didn't show you guys me um, actually cutting the crease because I do in every single video. So yeah. <laughs> I just showed you just a little bit of me cutting the crease and then I got really close to the mirror so you guys can really see that part but yeah I like to take a small brush and just make sure that everything is blended out and diffused and just to get rid of that um excess eyeshadow base because if you leave a thick layer on there it can mess up the eyeshadows that you apply on top of it so yeah I just did that and then I like to take the deepest shade that we use in the crease and just diffuse out the edges of the eyeshadow base so now I'm taking that first shade in the chameleon palette and I am going to be using that as a base and then I'm going to do the same thing with the purple so that way when we go in with the shades in the love fest palette it actually pops just a little bit more and it's a little bit more on the warm deeper side So of course I decided to be extra and go in with some glitter. So it's just a pink and purple glitter. You guys from Bulk Glitters. I do not know the names because these glitters are so old. I've had them for a long time so the names uh, scratched off. But yeah I just apply some lash glue and then I'm just going over top of it with um, the glitter. And I did it to where you guys will still be able to see the shade. And then I went into my orange liner from Glamier. This liner is beautiful, you guys. Like, I love it so much, and it really just set off the look, in my opinion. Like, I really was trying to figure out a way that I could incorporate more orange, and this was the perfect way to do it. So, yeah, you guys, now I'm going into my primer. This is literally my favorite part of the video. Like, when I say the face makeup ate, it ate. So, yeah, I'm just going in with that primer. I did put just a little bit back into the jar because that was a lot that I had. And um, I really do like this primer. It really did smooth out my skin. But I will say it did not really 
mesh well with the moisturizer that I had on it started to like get clumpy on my skin and I think it's because of the moisturizer that I had on so yeah I will just uh, go in with like a bare clean face the next time so yep I just applied that on my face and I definitely did see a difference in my foundation even though the Huda Beauty luminous matte foundation is just beautiful by itself even without this primer like I love the foundation a lot so yeah speaking of the foundation you guys um I'm definitely on the hunt to get a different shade because this one is my skin tone but it's not the right undertone like this pulls way more golden undertones when I'm more of like on the warm slightly reddish size so yeah I did end up ordering peanut butter cup which is one shade darker than this one so we're going to see how that works. If that one is too red, then I'm going to go up a shade one more. And that is in the shade Mocha. So I might just end up getting all three. Who knows? But yeah, as you guys can see, it is definitely not necessarily my shade. Even though that this foundation does oxidize, you guys. Like, it oxidizes pretty deeply. But I didn't want to take that chance of uh, just waiting to see if it oxidized. So I went ahead and got into my um foundation powder from kiss and i just set the foundation and it did kind of tone down that golden undertone a bit so you guys will see in a minute Yeah, you guys i didn't put too too much because i know i had more cream products to put on my skin so and i didn't want like any of the cream products to um not blend in well with the powder so yeah i did feel like it, this step made a difference a little bit and it made the foundation just blend in with my skin tone a little bit more so yeah this is just what i'm gonna do from now on when i want to use this foundation and you guys oh my gosh when i tell y'all these freaking concealers are so bomb like i literally ordered two more last night because when i love something i need a backup of it like it is just amazing i love these concealers so much they are so pigmented so full coverage and the thing that i love about this concealer so much is that it's so smooth on the skin and it is like a luminous matte, so that pretty much means like it'll dry down to a matte finish, but it's not going to dry out your under eye. And that was like my main thing on why I love this concealer so much. Like I do like matte products, but not to the point where it's drying out my skin. So this is literally like the perfect, perfect formula. Another thing that I really love about these concealers is that you do have time to, um, let the concealer kind of set on the skin before you do blend it out i love that so much like when a concealer gives you a little bit of play time so say for instance if you want to apply your concealer and then move on to your cream contour you can do that and still be able to blend out your concealer and it looks just beautiful and seamless and not just patchy or anything like that so yeah you guys i really love this formula so so much i can't believe i ordered two more so quickly <laughs> But I'm just like, I definitely need more of this in my collection. So I just never run out. Like, I love this concealer so much. And I will say one thing, you guys, like I'm very, very impressed with the shades that I chose. I pay heavily attention to the description of the um, complexion products and for brightening my brightening concealer. I love to do a concealer that's pretty much like has a pink undertone. So this is the shade Yogurt Drops. This is literally the perfect shade for me and it honestly goes perfect with the cupcake powder. That's why I used it in today's video. Like, I was just so satisfied with my face makeup. I was satisfied with every single thing. Like, Huda Beauty, you did that with everything that I used in this video. <laughs>
So now I'm going into my favorite powder of all time. This is the Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder in the shade Cupcake. Um, you guys, I really do feel like um, this product is going to be discontinued. I did say that in the haul portion of the video. So yeah, I will definitely be purchasing more. If you want the Cupcake shade, then I suggest you go on the Sephora app or website and get you one because Huda Beauty is not restocking this. Like she's just not doing it she hasn't done it in months and now it's not even a option for you to get the fragrance free one so yeah she definitely has me under the impression that she's not gonna restock this powder so yeah i think it's getting discontinued y'all which is so sad but it is what it is um i honestly cannot wait until i get my fragrance free powder and i can be able to do a comparison because i got the shade pound cake and I already have pound cake for the fragrance one. So yeah, I cannot wait to do like a side by side comparison because Huda Beauty definitely said on her Instagram that there is a difference that the fragrance free one is not as brightening. And I'm going to be sad if I feel the same way because I honestly love the brightening effect that the powder does give you. So yeah, and I'm always team OG powder. I love the fragrance and the powder, so yeah. I also got the perfume as well. I don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning of the video, so yeah. Wait for that video, y'all, because it's coming. So now I'm going in with my bronzer. I was really nervous about this bronzer, you guys, because I did not know if this was going to work for my skin tone, but I absolutely love the shade. It's a nice balance in between like a warm shade, so it has like red undertones, but like slight neutral undertones as well to the point where I don't look too red or too orange so yeah I really like that bronzer a lot now I'm just taking that first shade that we use in a crease on the bottom lash line I'm going to be taking that orange shade too and then I'm going to be applying mascara and then doing my waterline with this beautiful bright purple shade it really make the eye look pop so yeah, I really like that I took that. Oh, hold on, no, I lied. My bad, y'all. I lied. I use blush. <laughs> I use the eyeshadow as blush because I don't have a blush by Huda Beauty just yet. It's still coming in the mail because the original shade that I wanted, she was um out of stock. But I ended up getting a different shade. So yeah. I think after this, I'm going to do my eyeliner here. <laughs> now I'm going to do my eyeliner right now. And it definitely made the eye look pop. So now I'm just taking a random orangey gold glitter just to make the eyeshadow look pop a little bit more. It's from Bulk Glitters. All of my glitters are from Bulk Glitters. I can't remember the shade. Cause like I said, like they worn off. So now I'm moving on to lips. I'm using the Wet n Wild pencil first just because like I want a more deeper lip line and have like more of an ombre. And then I'm going in with the lip contour in Rich Brown. Then I'm going to be going into my liquid lipstick because I don't have any lip products from Huda Beauty yet as far as like liquid lipsticks or actual lipsticks. Then I'm going in with her gloss in the shade Coco. And I really, really like that shade a lot, you guys. Like, I don't know what it is with these lip glosses, but it really made my lips look so plump and juicy. Made me look like I had like lip filler, which I guess that's the point. It's called faux filler, so <laughs> yeah. It was really, really nice. I loved how my lips looked. So yeah, you guys, I just applied this lip gloss and after that, I just went ahead and set my face off with camera. Huda Beauty has not restocked her Rest and Boss Face setting spray. I don't know if she's gonna be discontinuing it or not, but yeah, you guys, that's the reason why I don't have it. So yeah i really hope that you all enjoyed today's video and you learned something new please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one